So this past week when I went into work, I opened up my lunchbox only to discover that my lunch was missing. What does that have to do with eating vegetables? Great question. We'll get to that in a moment. I wanted to get episode 10 out this week, but I realized on Wednesday night when I still hadn't finished recording that that wasn't going to happen. I've also been trying to make one of those 100 Days in Minecraft videos, but in peaceful mode. Originally, that was going to be released at the end of this month, but July or August looks far more likely with how chaotic my life has been. If that sounds like something you'd like to see, don't shy away from the subscribe button or the comment section to let me know. In the meantime, I've included some footage from the 100 Days in Peaceful challenge to back this story. So now, back to my missing lunch. I had just arrived at work. I was a little thirsty, needed some of that H2O. So I opened up my lunchbox to get my water bottle. Now, with the way my lunchbox is, I have to lift out or tilt the container that has my actual lunch in order to grab the water bottle. But as I tilted the container, I realized that it didn't have my delicious pasta salad, just some chopped up lettuce and tomato. I knew instantly what had happened. You see, the previous night, we had soft tacos for dinner, and we had put the leftover lettuce and tomato into a container that was practically identical to the one that had my lunch. Now my mother, she loves to be helpful, and I very much appreciate her helpfulness. So this week, like many before it, she packed my lunchbox. Evidently that morning when she was packing, she had grabbed the wrong container. Fortunately, the container was pretty full, and lettuce and tomato is basically a salad. It would have been nice to have some protein with it, but at least I still had something to eat. And I also got to eat my tasty, tasty pasta salad when I got home that night. Besides, this isn't the first time I've had a lunch mishap. Like the time in elementary school when I had packed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on rye bread and discovered that my taste buds hated rye bread. Or the time when I packed a PB&J, which instead of having strawberry jelly, had pepper jelly. I'm pretty sure I was in high school at the time, so I was a little more okay with spicy things. But I'm pretty sure that anyone at any age who bit into something expecting it to be strawberry flavored, and it was actually pepper flavored, would be at least a little surprised. There's also the more recent time I accidentally took the wrong container of leftover pizza to work. I don't put hot pepper flakes on my pizza. That day, the pizza had pepper flakes. It was not a great time. Anyway, what is the moral of this story? What do we learn? Some might point to the fact that someone else packed my lunch for me and say the moral is, if you want something done right, do it yourself. However, what those people neglect to recognize is I am definitely my mother's daughter. I have picked the wrong container before, and will probably do it again. No, the real moral is, you should eat your vegetables. After we had eaten our soft tacos the previous night, I was still a little hungry. I was thinking about eating the leftover lettuce and tomato as a side salad, but instead I had some chips, rationalizing that I had already eaten vegetables earlier in the day. If I had just eaten the lettuce and tomato that night, they wouldn't have been accidentally packed instead of my real lunch. Though, I guess the counter-argument could be made that if I never ate vegetables, the lettuce and tomato wouldn't have been there to begin with. But then I also wouldn't have had my pasta salad, since that has vegetables. Maybe I just need to use a container for my lunch that is different from the containers for leftovers? I don't think that would make as good of a title, though. Speaking of the title, you may have noticed the one. Will this become a series? Who knows? It might, if weird things keep happening to me. And if the first however many years I've lived so far is any indication, weird things will continue to happen. I am willing to take suggestions for the name of this series. Until next time, take care.